Joining us in the studio now is Dave Jaworski of Microsoft. Gary. Hi. Dave, uh, Microsoft has introduced two operating systems, two multitasking operating systems, OS 2 and uh, Windows 86. How do you position those two? Okay, uh, the interface is the same across OS 2 Presentation Manager, Windows 386, and Windows 2, and that's important. Windows 386, which we're going to look at today, follows IBM's SAA Common User Access Standard. So in the future, all applications are going to have this interface. Windows 386 runs only on the Intel 80386 processor. OS 2 is built for the 286 platform and beyond. And it really is the operating system and a platform for the future. The 386 product that we're going to look at today is a short-term product in that it takes advantage only of the 386 right okay. now and we'll won't run anywhere it. else. Sure. In the future, all applications are going to have these pull-down menus and a, a common way of interacting with the user. We have a window open here. I can click on this window, a clock that's running at the same time. I'm able to look in the corner here. I have icons that represent different actions. So if I click on that icon, it reduces that down to a small picture of a disk. Here's Microsoft Excel, a spreadsheet program. And this is able to go and get information from a variety of sources. Not only can I work with my standard spreadsheets, but I'm also able to load up an application that can talk to other Windows applications mm -hmm. through something we call Dynamic Data Exchange, DDE. This program, as it starts up, it knows that it's missing some spreadsheet information, and it says, I can reestablish a link to that. Would you like me to do that? So we'll ask it to do that. It also noted that the application server is not running. So it says, would you like me to start that? And I simply say yes. Mm -hmm. This is going to simulate a feed coming in from a stock exchange. It could be pulling in data over a network per, for coming from a variety of sources. And now you'll notice that we have real-time updating of the spreadsheet. I can go beyond that and say, please give me a, a graph of this information. So Excel will now take that information and make some assumptions about its format and will give me a graph. Mm -hmm. Don't pick up the phone and call anybody. <laughs> this is just a simulation. Okay. These are not real stock market results. While that's running, what I'll do is reduce this down to a window. And I'm going to go back now and start up the executive and go in and load up Microsoft Word. This is a standard DOS application. Like many of the products people are working with today on their computers, we want to make sure that they can run those in this new environment. I can run full screen and load up files, do all the standard things I would do working in DOS, or I can choose to pull in information from the Windows product and paste it into my word processor. I'm also able to toggle back and run Word in a window. And then again, as we work here, the clock is still mm -hmm. running. And if I reduce this down again, you'll see that my spreadsheet back here is still giving us that live feed. Mm -hmm. So I'm able to work with multiple applications, both existing DOS applications and new applications for the future in this platform.